Thousands of people have marched in the Northern Territory to remember a strike that sparked the Aboriginal land rights movement. 50 years ago, Gurindji tribal elder Vincent Lingiari led 200 stockmen and their families off the Wave Hill cattle station in protest at their atrocious working conditions. Avani Dias reports from Kalkarindji, 800 kilometres from Darwin. 50 years on, the steps of the Wave Hill walk-off are immortalised. My grandfather had nothing, like literally nothing, but his courage and his people behind him. What a story of survival. The protesters were fed up with working up to 16 hours a day and being paid in small rations of bread, beef and tobacco. Led by the softly spoken Vincent Lingiari, an elder from country west of Wave Hill, they walked off the station. These are the last remaining protesters. Some were the children of workers. I've been and walked over with my people and with my grandfather and I was only six years of age. Now today I'm 53. Others were young stockmen and domestic workers. You might make us happy. We are calling you might really happy for you. And all that, uh, all that traveling we had at the Wavell Station, I know it's not easy. While some remembered the past, the next generation is looking to the future to preserve the legacy of their ancestors. It's over to us to take on and the next generation. Hello. A Bedford truck like the one driven by union leaders who brought supplies to the Gringy protesters at Wattie Creek led the land rights march. This, to me, in all honesty, was a marvellous invention. What better thing could you do as a 15-year-old boy? These are Vincent Lingiari's descendants and they are retracing the steps of their forefathers who triggered the Aboriginal land rights movement. Thousands from across the Northern Territory and Australia are behind them marching along. Nine years after the Wave Hill walk-off, then Prime Minister Gough Whitlam handed back a portion of land to the traditional owners. But among the Indigenous leaders who spoke today, there was a clear message that the work of Vincent Lingiari and his people remains unfinished. We, the Aboriginal people, are still fighting for our equal rights, and that's a, a national disgrace. But like Vincent Lingiari, we won't give up that fight, however long it takes. Half a century since the walk, there are still many steps to take. Avani Dias, ABC News, Kalkarindji.